guys, welcome back to another um, reaction video. So, on this reaction video, we are going to react, let's go and meet the bronies. I am so excited. I've watched this before, but I forgot some of the clips, so I'm just going to go watch it. I'm going to turn the volume up. Okay, the following video is posted by Jan Animations with permission from Brony Doc LLC. The full documentary is available at BronyDoc.com. Uh, copyright 2013 BronyDoc LLC. So, yeah. So, uh, I don't own the video. The video was actually performed by Jan Animations. Pony University! Derpy! <laughs> For one to fully comprehend this pony fascination, let me sum up the previous of pony generations. Oh, and uh, before I um st uh st um let Discord, yes, Discord, um, or should I say John Delancey talk, um, I've actually watched all of the generations for My Little Pony because you know I was actually a pretty big fan of My Little Pony when I was little, so I had watched every single generation of my little pony yep gen 1 gen 2 gen 3 and now gen 4 i've seen all of them generation 1 appeared on tv in the 80s it was made to sell toys i even had uh some of the toys like i had like four of them Exactly. Very wavy. At Generation 2, I do not mean the grouse and gripe, but these characters were right into the girly stereotypes. Mm. And Generation 3 is just too awful. <laughs> Everyone barf. So let's jump to number 4. Where French. I've gone in my mouth again. I am so sorry. All the characters come in and the stellar story. Fast. And the lovely animation brought about great dedication. Wink, wink. This is where we meet the bronies. Were they like my little pony? Yes, the bros into the pony. So let's go and meet the bronies. Yay! I like the main like I've never been to a brony con ever but I want to <laughs> It's not over yet. Slendy. Wait. <laughs> why does why uh, why does Slendy uh, why does Slender Pony have a green apple in his head? What the heck? Uh, that's cool though. Adult Sweetie Bell. Okay then. Creative bronies are the final, but you need to know. Making music, art, and stories all inspired by the show. While counting down the days from season one to season two, the musicians wrote funky little songs like Pinky's Brew. Like Pinky's Brew. And, um, there's a lot of pony songs. I can't even count them all. The pony generators churn out many new OCs, and Yay. the artists put their art on top of blocks for all to see. The writers pair their favorites, forcing charming little cribs. And although they face some critics, they will go down with their ships. Ow. Talent is their glory, never broken. <laughs> they will go down with their ships. By never stopping from the music to the stories and the artwork and the clopping. Did he just say clopping? Don't say clopping, okay. dude. But let's steer away from that one and get right back to the ponies. The creators are the final touch uh. in the wacky world of bronies. Creators and moderates uh, and lastly hipster bronies yeah, um, are the groups that are quite proud to watch the show. My, My little, little pony. pony. <laughs> the faces. Hey. Oh, before I continue, I liked how you spin uh you spin around his uh little bow tie. That's cool. I didn't notice that. Who is that? It seems your hmm. little lessons left the fair sex neglected. 
She reminds me of Tara Strong. Is she Tara Strong? Well, when girls like Little Ponies, that's very much expected. Even so, you can't ignore these Phillies' contributions. We're involved in brony culture, and we demand our inclusion. We attend all the conventions, create art and music, too, discuss the show, talk on forums, everything that these dudes do. <laughs> no, we're not bros, but we're bronies. Though some prefer Pegasus sisters. And we also are creatives, moderates, and even hipsters. Um, once again, I have to pause because I don't want, I don't really like talking in between videos. I might miss a part or something. So, um, yeah, I am still a Pegasus sister. Um, even though on my Wattpad I, uh, I said, I said that I'm not a brony anymore, but I'm getting back into my pony side. Um, I've, I've also made a, um, a new OC so I can do stuff with my little pony soon. Um, soon I'm going to be reviewing um, season 5 premiere. So uh, yeah, be prepared for that. Well there you have it. All the bronies. Any pony else I miss? Hello Discord. Now if it's all the same to you, class dismissed. I want to go to Pony po po Pony Pony University. Oh, the original fan art, a fan animation, fan animation, by Richard Soros, Jan Animations, and Matt so Sullivan. Let's go and meet the Bronies. Lyrics by Amy Keating Rogers, Zachary uh, Zachary Lombardini, Lombardini. Okay. Oh my God! I just knew it. They, uh, this song was performed by John Delancey and Tara Strong. Yes, I got that right. Okay, so, um, that's all I have to say. I really love this animation. I really love, I really love this song. I'm going to listen to it again after I upload this video. So, uh, may the first be with you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.